Praise the Lord, God's children, because this is a day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Welcome to In the Master's Hands with Elder Anyat Mashi. You know, all of the Ma In the Master's Hands broadcasts are Christian internet radio and TV talk shows, and they're directed at educating, edifying, and helping the body of Christ gain understanding of God's Word and to know just who they are in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> Today... We're delighted to bring you the weekly program with my co-host, Elder Anyat Mashi, who is streaming live from Pakistan. And um, I'm understanding that I'll be able to pick that signal up in uh, a few more minutes. Um, I'm just waiting to see and hear when they're on online with us. We've been working at trying to get, make the connection this morning. So <clears throat> in the meantime, um, I want you to understand that we've had victory over the Pakistan electrical situation. <laughs> <laughs> but on very rare occasions, the Pakistani feed may go off the air. If that happens, stay with us. We'll still continue to broadcast. In the meantime, know that that's what we're doing now is overcoming issues. <laughs> also, please do not call in on Skype during the broadcast because it causes system overload and it'll interrupt our programming. Now, I've opened our chat lines for you. They're wide open, so you can chime in at any time during the broadcast. And uh, leave. it's a an instant message kind of thing so you just type in your little message of what you want to say or your question and then later on during the broadcast we will address your questions and your comments during the discussion period if we don't get any we'll move right along but just so that you know it is available for you and uh, if you have questions I, Elder Anyat Mashi and myself are here to help help you understand the Word of God okay um, let me tell you a little bit about Elder Ainyat Mashi. I've known him for years now and I've been dealing with him in this ministry and with his son and, and now his uh, son and his son's wife and their ministry and his daughter and her ministry. Um, but Elder Ainyat Mashi is from Jahanya District, Haniwal, Punjab, Pakistan. And he's an anointed minister of the gospel. He heads up an evangelistic team that goes out spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout Pakistan. Elder uh, Mashi also serves the, the Lord as Assistant Director of Ministry of the Jahania branch of the Master's Touch Healing School of Ministry International, which is my ministry. And um, he's been so helpful and so wonderful and so patient and so kind. And he is uh, really a godly man. And his son is too. Uh, we deal with them exclusively. You know, it, in this day and age, it's very difficult to find ministry, ministries that are real especially in foreign countries, but theirs is. They do just a tremendous work over there. Um, so uh, one thing that I will tell you about right now is that they are in need, and I'm just sharing this with you because I have the time to do it. They are in need of Urdu Bibles. Now, Urdu is the language of Pakistan, and the people that don't speak English need to be able to read the Bible. So uh, it runs about $9 per Bible. And if you were so inclined, it would bless us greatly if you would be able to give $9 into their ministry for one Bible even. And that and you'll get such a blessing from having done it. But the Lord is um, moving there, and they need the Bibles. And so um, you can do it through Western Union, directly to Elder Anyat Mashi. Um, or you can do it through my ministry. And if you send it through my ministry, every penny... All nine dollars will get to them without fail and so uh, if you're so inclined I'll give you information at the end of the broadcast of how you can donate uh, for the Bibles for Urdu Bibles for their ministry and their outreach it's so important because it, to get the Word of God to people they have to be able to read it in their own language and if we sent English Bibles they wouldn't be able to read them you know so these are written in Urdu their their language and like I said they run about nine dollars which is really nothing and so if you can see it in your heart to, to donate to that, that cause, that would be a wonderful thing. Um, <clears throat> now, Elder Anyat Mashi always prepares an anointed message to share with us. Um, and it's amazing the, the uh, wisdom that comes from, from this man. Um, I'm not prepared to introduce him to you right now, so I'll hold off. <laughs> but... Um, I will talk to you a little bit about God's Word. You know, it's important for you to uh, become born-again Christian, and I'll tell you why. Because if you don't, you're not going to go to heaven. And uh, one of the things that 
that we talk about, especially Pastor uh, Elder, uh, Elder Anyatmashi talks about, is salvation. <clears throat> because it's vitally important to your well-being spiritually for eternity. It isn't just for today or this week or while you're here. It's This is for eternity. We live forever. You know, and uh, we're either going to live in hell forever or we're going to live in heaven. And you can either uh, choose heaven or hell. It's your choice. But life is a, a, a just that, choices, because God gave us a free will to choose. And he wants us to choose him because and, and heaven because we love him, not because of any other reason. He does. Who? I mean, think about this. Would you want someone uh, to... Uh, love you just because they were supposed to or they had to or would you want them to love you because they love you you know and it's God's the same way you know so keep that in mind during the broadcast after the message we will give you an opportunity to give your life to Jesus Christ if he moves on your heart and I, I encourage you to open your minds and your hearts to, to Jesus during this message that he's going to give you today uh, because uh, it's not that you have to give up a life that you have to give up living for yourself and enjoying life. No, not at all. God will take care of anything that's not pleasing to him. He'll change it. He'll take it away from you a little at a time. Um, I know because I've experienced that in my own life. You know, uh, <clears throat> matter of fact, my grandmother used to say I used to go dancing a lot. And I love to go dancing and I, and I still like to dance and I still do. But I don't go dancing in a nightclub. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, but it wouldn't matter if I did go into a nightclub. I mean, it's dancing is dancing, you know. Um, and I told my grandmother, I said, I don't want to get saved because if I get saved, then I have to, you know, stop doing the things that I enjoy doing, like going out clubbing and stuff. And she said, no, you don't. She said, you don't have to worry about that at all because if you, uh, you'll find that once you've given your life to Christ, he'll change your desire a little at a time. And before long, you, you'll give it up because you don't want to do it anymore. And you know that's exactly what happened? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, <clears throat> it's not something that you don't, you just have to stop doing. It's not a have to. You see, there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, Romans 8.1. There is no condemnation. Condemnation ceases when you give your heart to, to Christ. And uh, you're no longer condemned. You have been made the righteousness of God in Christ so that you take up your residence in Christ Jesus, you're protected, um, you know, you, you, um, you're everything you can be in Christ. And you don't know what that is until you become it, and then we teach you how to be, you know, what, what to expect from, from all the blessings and all the gifts that you get from, from Christ for having joined the family of God. So, <clears throat> anyway... <clears throat> Looks like we've got about two minutes here before uh, Elder Anyatmashi will join us. Um, so I remind you to use the chat line, call in with your questions or your comments. It's okay, we'll address them. Um, and uh, keep in mind that, that we are going to give you an opportunity to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior a little later on in the broadcast. You know, um, let me tell you a little bit about him. Um, I, I know that uh, he's a school principal, and um, I know his heart's desire is to start a school that will accept all faiths, and will, but it's based on the, the, the Bible, on Jesus Christ, the Word of God, so that everyone gets a, a good education and they also get um, the truth, you know. So... Um, it, yeah, and, and his son and his wife are dear, very dear, sweet people. They're out there in the trenches, and so is his daughter out there, uh, reaching the children for with Jesus. Um, and they <clears throat> they take gifts for the children, and they take Bibles for the for the uh, adults that can read. And they they're preparing and they're sent, giving them uh, backpacks and, and skill, filled with school supplies and things like that for the children that are going to school. And I understand that, uh, this is just my understanding now, I'm not sure about it, but I think that it's uh, a situation where they, like in most places, I know in Kenya, education costs, costs money. You have In order to send your children to school, you have to pay for it. And if you don't have any money or you don't have the finances to pay for, you can pay as many as much as you have to get them through as many grades as you can. But when when the money runs out, 
the education stops. So some people have third grade education, some don't have any, you know, and some of them never learn to read. <clears throat> so um, I think that that's also the way that it is in Pakistan. Um, at least I'm led to believe that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong and I apologize. But um, keep in mind that, that this is what they're dealing with. They're trying to teach children, reach them for Christ, teach adults, reach them for Christ, and show them what life can be like if they were born again. You know, and, and that's not an easy task, my friends. It's not an easy task. Well, let me see if um, if they're ready to come on board. Uh, online, let me ring in and get him. Let's see if I can get him. We went a minute over the 10 minutes I was told it would take, it would take before he was on. There he comes. Hello. <laughs> good morning, or good evening. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. God bless you, brother. Hello. Well, I've introduced you a thousand times, yeah, and I've had a nice chat with yeah, our listeners. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so, praise uh, the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to turn this broadcast over to you right now, and uh, but first I would like to pray, and then I'll have you pray, and then we'll go forward, okay? All right, Father, we come into your presence with praise and thanksgiving in our hearts. We love you, Lord, and worship you and give you honor, glory, and praise today for this broadcast, for this union and this meeting so that uh, your word can flow all through Pakistan and throughout Pakistan and all the globe. We give you honor, glory, and praise for that. We thank you for revelation knowledge, for the rhema word of God, the logos word of God. We thank you for uh, the anointed word that and the gift of utterance that you give my brother. We thank you that language barriers have no barrier. And we uh, see that, that everything is smooth and understandable and that the broadcast is protected by Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, my brother. Amen. <clears throat> amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> you go right ahead. It's all yours. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, and everybody who is listening to me, Greeting to all in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. I mean because uh, it is very, very hard day in Pakistan. <laughs> 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 and uh, just I was in, uh, just I was taking a bath. So sorry for getting late for ten minutes. So so I am now I am here and uh, it is prayed there as, as it is prayed today we shall see. And we shall consider that uh, what is power in prayer? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yes. The praying power. How can we get power? So therefore, today topic is very and very very important. And uh, I I I am also in requesting before Jesus Christ, before uh, our uh, heavenly Father, uh, because. Uh, this time may be very blessed for me, for also, and everyone who is listening this time, the voice of Lord. I am nothing at all, but with the help of the Holy Spirit, we shall see and we shall watch and we shall consider that how we can get power in prayer. So therefore, first of all, to see the glory of Lord, we shall uh, read that how should we pray and what is the meaning of pray. When we pray, when we be stored before God, when we knelt down before God, then our requesting, our, our thanksgiving reaches in the presence of Lord and how. So therefore, first of all, see the second uh, Kings, second Kings, and uh, chapter 20. Verse 
two examples I shall uh, discuss to you, share with you, and then we shall go ahead seeing that uh, how there is blessing in prayer. In those days, Hilkia was sick and near death. And Isaiah, the prophet, the son of Amuz, went to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, set your house in order, for you shall die, and not lie. Then he turned his face towards the wall and prayed to the Lord, saying, Remember now, O Lord, I pray, how I have walked before you, in truth and with a loyal heart, and have done what was good in your sight. And his kya wept bitterly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers, this is the way of praying. We see here, Hilkia wept bitterly, and it happened before Isaiah had gone out into the uh, middle court that the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Return, and tell Hizkia, the leader of my people, thus says the Lord, the God of David, your father, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your death. Surely I will heal you. On the third day you shall go up to the house of the Lord. And I will add to your days fifteen years. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, my dear brothers, my sisters, and everyone who is listening this time. Here we see what a good example of praying, but how praying? What is the kind of of the prayer that hurt the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my dear. Oh, hallelujah. We see this was the man of God. But he got sick. And he suffered so much that he was going to death. And he was ordered, he was said, set your house in order for you shall die and not lie. It is said to him. And it is the last time of him. There is no time for him. He is asked that set your house in order. But we see that what is the reaction of his kia? My dear he turned his face towards the wall. Please think for a while. What the word was, word of Lord teaches us. When we are in trouble, when we are in suffering, when we are in diseases, when we are a, we are in problems, it is very important that we just as it is said that he turned his face towards the wall. It, it means all his mind, with all his mind, with all his thinking, he turned before the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And prayed to the Lord and wept bitterly and said, I, he requested and then he said, O oh Lord, how I have walked before you in truth and with a loyal heart. God knows everything. He watches our heart. He has the, uh, his eyes sees to us. And uh, we are in his presence. Nothing is uh, 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 hidden before his eyes. But even, even then we see that he put before the Lord, saying, I am, I, am, uh, I, I have walked before you in truth and with lion heart, and but God knows. 
God knew about him. Everything God knew about him. Everything God knows about ourselves, yourselves, everybody, every person before the sight of the Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my dear. And he wept bitterly. And, and when he wept bitterly, then his tears <laughs> were, were, were very, very precious in the sight of the Lord. And Lord heard his uh, voice and his prayers. And uh, we see it happened before the Sire had gone out into the middle court. Just he was not uh, gone away. Then the word of Lord came to him saying, Return. Return back. And tell his Kia, the leader of my people, Hallelujah. Thus says the Lord, the God of the David, your father, have heard your work there. I have seen your death. My dears, this is the stage we have, we have to reach ourselves. We have to put ourselves. And then our praise will be heard before the Lord and we will be rewarded everything. Because as it is said in James, whatever you pray, in whatever you beg in pray, you will get but believe that you will get it. So therefore it is necessary, my dear, as he was said, then Isaiah returned to his kiosk and told him, then you can image what will happen. He got, he was overjoyed to hear when his age was increased 15 years. I mean, so my dear, it was impossible because he was ordered but the voice of Lord and God, God, as He suggested, as He, as He, as He uh, wants to do, He does. Hallelujah. So therefore, my dears, we have to reach at this stage. We have to pray in this way, as we see that this, His prayer was uh, heard before the Lord. And the second example, we shall, we shall go. In First Samuel, in First Samuel, chapter one, chapter one and verse one to nine, we shall see. And here we see and uh, 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 one more example of such a prayer that was read before the presence of the Lord. So now there was a certain man of Rathim, Rothim, of the mountains, Afrahim, and his name was uh, Alkana, the son of uh, Jerome, the son of Elahu, the son of the son of Zoho. So therefore we, we see here a very, very uh, good example and uh, we see that uh, they, they were not the, any child. And here we see the prey of her, her wife, Hannah. So we, sh we shall see about it, uh, how he prayed. We shall, uh, we shall see fifth verse. But the Hana he would give a double portion for the, uh, for he loved Hana, although the Lord had closed her home. And her uh, reveal also provoked her severely to make her miserable because the Lord had closed her home. So it was uh, year by year when she went up to the house of the Lord that she provoked uh, her. Therefore, she wept and did not eat. 
here we see the condition of that woman. Then Alkana, her husband said to her, Anna, why do you weep? Why do you not eat? And why is your heart grieved? Am I not better to you than ten sons? My dear, here we see that the Hana husband loved her, uh, loved her. But because he was not any child, therefore he, he was tortured by her. Uh, we see here that she, she was tortured uh, severely. But here we can see <coughs> what happened. So Hana arose after they had finished eating and drinking in uh, Saluha. So, so now Amy, the priest was sitting on the seat by the doorpost of the tabernacle of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed to the Lord and wept in anguish. My dear, 10 verse is special for consideration and she was in bitterness of soul and prayed to the Lord and wept in anguish. My dear, <coughs> we, sh we should learn this example that whenever we are tortured, we are uh, in a miserable condition, then how should we kneel down before God and what is the condition? What is the problem? We should put our problem before the Lord, praying to the Lord and weeping, shedding tears in the presence of the Lord. Then she made a vow and said, O oh Lord, host, if you will indeed look on the uh, application of your maid servant and remember me, not forget your uh, maid servant, but will give your uh, maid servant a male child, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of her life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My focus is only on the ten words. And uh, just as we see in Second Kings chapter 20, that how we should pray. So my dear, first of all, we, we learn uh, uh, today that how uh, we should pray. And uh, now I, I want that we shall read uh, James, James chapter 1. James chapter 1 and verse 2. We shall start and here we can see that what is the way, what is the best, best way of praying. My brethren, don't hit all joy when you fall into the various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any one of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all, liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. It will be given to him. So therefore, we should believe it is the word of the Lord, and it will be given to him. Anything you will ask, it will be given to you, but let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. So therefore, my dears, 
it is a good view that is put before us through the world of law. Whenever, whenever we are in trouble, whenever we are in problems, whenever we are disappointed by our diseases, by our losses, by our anything, therefore it is necessary to put ourselves with ask him with faith but no doubting believing that god it is the god promise and he will fulfill his promise i mean and now my dear uh, sometimes we are very very weak we say that we are nothing we 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 can't do but we we should believe that the that the spirit of lord also also remember us hallelujah and and uh, Ro, Ro, roman roman chapter 8 teaches us roman chapter 8 and what 26 to 30 teaches us Hallelujah. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. Please listen carefully and keep in your mind when we are weak, when we think that we are the sinner, we are the we have the so many problems. But my dear. brother sister keep in your mind spirit of god also helps in our weaknesses for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit himself make intercession for us with groaning which cannot be uttered now he who Searches the heart, knows what the mind of the spirit is. I mean, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the who are the called according to His. purpose for whom he for you he also predestined to the confirm to the image of his son and he might be the first born among many brethren moreover whom he predestined did he also call whom he called the he also justified and whom he justified did he also glorify hallelujah i mean so my dear brothers god knows our our mind what is our our mind because he is the master of all creation so therefore when ever we ask to him He knows what is the purpose of our backing. What is the purpose of in our mind? So, if we are in the good, good direction, right direction, then we can say that the spirit also helps in our weakness. But if there there are something wrong in our our mind, and we do uh, something against the will of God. then we we cannot get anything we should not accept anything that we shall get so therefore if our purpose is for the glorification of the lord for the cause of the lord for winning the soul for for uh, uh, any other task that is according to the will of lord then my dear you will be 
glorified. You will be uh, blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we we see that uh, uh, when Jesus was also in this world, he he sometime he went upward the mountain and there separately he prayed and he, uh, and uh, shed tears. Hallelujah. So therefore, my dear, we can see these examples in Matthew, in Mark, in so many other things, how he blessed, uh, Jesus blessed the Lord, how Jesus blessed his disciples, how Jesus blessed uh, and uh, uh, prayed upon the uh, sicknesses and everything was done in the name of the So many miracles were uh, uh, happened. So therefore, uh, one example I want to put before you, so that we should keep in our mind that how should we, we pray. And uh, uh, this example is uh, Luke chapter 18. Luke chapter 18. Only, uh, first of all, we shall see uh, first verse. Then he spoke a parable to them that men always are to pray and not lose heart. I mean, my dear, it is clearly, it is clearly said that the people were also given a task and they were said, the men always are to pray, not to lose heart. If we do not get anything, we should not lose heart. Sometimes it takes time. Sometimes there are so many hurdles. Sometimes God uh, sees that how we are patient in, in taking something. So therefore, it is very necessary that we should not lose heart but we should keep in prayer and always we should be in prayer and uh, thanksgiving to lord and then we shall see uh, chapter uh, luke chapter 18 and verse uh, 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 chapter 22nd sorry chapter 22nd and verse 34 to 36. Hallelujah. Luke April 22nd. Then he said, I tell you, Peter, the roaster shall not grow this day before you will deny three times that you know me. And he said to them, when I sent you without money, bag, knapsack and sandals, did you lack anything? So they said nothing. Then he said to them, but now he who has a money bag, let take him it and likewise a knapsack and he who as no sword. So, sorry, uh, we shall see here that here also given an example, but uh, uh, the, the two main example is in 18, chapter 18. Chapter 18 and verse 7 to 14. Hallelujah. And shall God not arrange his own elect to cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with them? I tell you that he will arrange them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of the Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? Also he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and 
despise other. Two men went up to the temple. This is the temple. Two men went up to the temple to pray. One a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank. I thank you that I am not like other men. Ex extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this test collector. I fast twice a week. I give teachers uh, of all that I possess. And the test collector standing afar off would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Me. So, my dear brothers, here two men are before the Jesus Christ. The one is the Pharisee, and he presents himself just he uh, wants to uh, describe his own goodnesses. Task. What what is he doing? But the other, the man is. We see that he is test collector, and we see that uh, uh, test collector are are not in good position. Uh, it is not. Um, it is said that they are the club persons. They uh, take some more uh, than than is fit for them. So, but here we can see that he wept. But we see that this man was glorified. This man was blessed in the name of Jesus before the Jesus Christ. Huh? So my dear, therefore, it is very, very important that we should see that how we uh, put before ourselves before the Lord. How we pray. We uh, we show, uh, we want to show our good deeds to uh, the Lord, but yeah, uh, we, we, if we uh, uh, put before ourselves with humbleness, if we put before the Lord with humbleness, then my dear, it is very credit for you. It is very credit for everybody because it is a good example for us that we should uh, we should uh, put ourselves before Lord with, with very 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 humbleness. So therefore, this was this was I want to share with you because how we should pray. And now the second part that teaches us that there is a very power in prayer. And and uh, uh, when the Holy Spirit fulfills in our minds, in our heart, then we get power. Hallelujah. So therefore, uh, it, is, uh, it is very good and very, very important that we should pray to getting the power and then power will prove with, uh, among, uh, by us to, towards the sicknesses. And, and any other problem will be removed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And uh, and now we shall see the healingness uh, here of, and uh, we shall see the power of faith. Acts chapter 3. Hallelujah. Chapter 3 and verse 1 to 10.
Here we read, now Peter and John went up to gather to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. And a certain man named from his mother's home was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms from those who enter the temple. Who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked for arms, and fixing his eyes on him, with John, Peter said, Look at us. So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received certain so he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them walking, leaping and praising God. I mean, and all the people saw him walking and praising him to God. Then they knew that it was he who sat begging on at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazing, amazement at what had happened to him. This is the power of prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear, here we see that how a person who we see that he was born, he was born from the mother, uh, he was born lamb from his mother womb. He could not walk. Hallelujah. But here we see that how he was healed up. How he began to walk, how uh, his leaping up stood and walked, my dear, they were, he was asked by Peter, silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have, this is the power, this power was given to them, and this power was by the Holy Spirit, I mean, and if we have the Holy Spirit in our uh, in our body, in our heart, then so many miracles can happen. Hallelujah! I mean, just like uh, this leper was also uh, healed up in the name of Jesus. Here we see, as he was said, I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. Me. So, my dear, no problem will stand with before you. Any any problem will remove in the name of Jesus when we will we will have the power of Holy Spirit in our mind. Me. And uh, next we shall see chapter 4, Acts chapter 4 and verse 31, uh, 23. Chapter 4 and verse 23, and being let go, they went to their own companion and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said to them. So when they heard that they raised their, their voice to God with one occurred and said, Lord, you are God who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them. Why, by the mouth of your servant, they would have said, why did the nation rage and the people uh, quite vain think? The king of the earth took their stand 
and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ, for truly against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed, both Herod and Francis, Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together to do whatever you, your hand and your purposes determined before to the to be done. Now, Lord, look on their threats and grant to your servant that with all boldness they may speak your word. Hallelujah. My dear, verse 24. So when they heard that they raised their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, you are God who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them. So my dear, our Jesus Christ has authority all over the thing. If we have Jesus Christ in our bodies, in our mind, in our heart, then everything is possible. But when we believe that God is with us, but the, but but uh, accept God, accept the Holy Spirit, we can't do anything. So, my dear, we can see one more uh, example that. Uh, uh, how there was a power in prayer, uh, and uh, uh, here we we shall see uh, Acts 12. Acts 12. Here we see that uh, Peter is in prison, and how the church was praying for him. Step uh, yes. and we see. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hand to uh, harsh some uh, from the church. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to uh, seize Peter also. Now it was during the days of uh, unleavened bread. So when he had arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four squads, squads of soldiers to keep him intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter was therefore kept in prison, but content prayer was offered to God for him by the church. My dear, see, here we can see that where is Peter? Peter in, is in prison. But we see that the whole church is praying for him. Verse 5 tells us Peter was therefore kept in a prison. But constant prayer was a Offer to God for him by the church. And when Herod was about to bring him out, that night Peter was sleeping, bound with two chains between two soldiers, and the guard before the door was keeping the prison. Now, behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison. And he struck Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And his chain fell off his hand. Hallelujah. Then the angel said to him, Get yourself and tie on your sandal. And so he did. And he said to him, Put on your garment and follow me. So he went out and followed him and did not know what that what was done by the angel was real, but thought he was present or real. So my dear, 
This is the stage. This is the power in prayer. That whenever we are in trouble, just like Peter, he is between the soldier. He is put in the chains. He can, can't move there. But we can see that impossible was possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean. So my dear, this is the power of get together. When we are in trouble, it is need to kneel before uh, 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 in family, in church, but putting the problem before Jesus Christ. Jesus, we are in problem. Oh, Heavenly Father, we are in problem. You help us because we are in problem. And my dear, our problem will be removed in the name of Jesus, just like the chains and were open and the door were open for the Peter and, and all impossible will be possible uh, in the name of Jesus. I mean, and now we shall go ahead and uh, chapter 16, Acts chapter 16, we see and more, uh, one more incident for Paul and Flas, the power in prayer, hallelujah. Chapter 16 and verse 16 to 34. Now it happened, as we went to prayer, that a certain slave uh, girl possessed with the spirit of uh, divination met us, who brought her masters much properly by uh, fortune telling. This girl followed Paul and us and cried out, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, who proclaim to us the way of salvation. And this she did for many days, but Paul greatly annoyed, turned and said to the Spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out that very hour. But when the master saw that their hope of profit was gone, they seized Paul and Slas and dragged them into the uh, marketplace to the authority. And they brought them uh, to the magistrate and said, These men, being Jews, exceedingly trouble our city, and they teach customs which are not lawful for us, being Romans, to receive, to observe. Then the multitude rose up together against them, and the state tore off their clothes and commanded them to be beaten with rods. And when they had laid many stripes on them, they threw them into prison, commanding the jailer to keep them uh, secure. Having received such a charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the store. My brother, see the miracle, what happened, but at midnight, Paul and Slas were praying and singing Amens to God and the prisoner was listening to them. Hallelujah. We can image. We can see that they are in prison. They are beaten savagely. They are said reaping. But what they are doing? How they were be in pain. But they are praying. They were praying and singing hymns to God. If we also do so when we are in trouble, but here, and the prisoners were listening to them, suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone chains were loose. How it was done? How, who it, it, it did? Oh, my dear. It is the 
all the master of the Lord who did and he who did all impossible into possibility. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the keeper of the prison waking from sleep and seeing the prison doors open, supposing the prisoner had fled, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul called with a loud voice. This is the this is the boldness that the Paul said, Oh, do yourself no harm, for we are all here. We are all here. And we see that he believed in Jesus Christ. Amen. So my dear, this is the power in prayer. What we can't do, what we not uh, have, but God do everything and we get power in prayer. So my dear, hallelujah, hallelujah. My dear, this is the stage when we want to get power, we should go before God because there is, we see such examples that there is a power in prayer. How Hizkia was uh, uh, given 15 years more. How Anna was blessed with a child and his prayer, prayer was heard in the presence of Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, one example I want to give you more for your encouragement and uh, we can uh, see here uh, James chapter 5. James chapter 5 and uh, verse 13 to 18. Hallelujah. Chapter 5 and verse 13, it, it is, it is uh, we can hear in in any in anyone among you suffering, let him pray. Is anyone cheerful, let him sing poem. Is anyone among you sick, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of the faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up and if he has committed sin, he will be forgiven. This is the power in prayer, but the, the, the way it is discussed here, that's how the prayer can be. Prayer with faith will save the sick. Confess your best possible. And uh, my dear, we are listening to the word of Lord. So therefore it is important that we should keep in our mind that whenever we are in every trouble, in sickness, in diseases, in problems, in suffering, in torturing, then it is need to pray and we will be uh, satisfied in the name of Jesus because it is the promise of Lord. 17 verse tells us, Elia was a man with a nature like ours and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months and he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. So, this is the power in prayer. It is said that Elia was our nature man, like ourselves. But he, how he prayed? He prayed earnestly. We should listen. We should keep in our mind that we should also be praying just like earnestly with humbleness, with tearing, shedding tearing, and then our prayer will be listened and we will be rewarded 
in the name of Jesus because Jesus was in the past, Jesus is today and Jesus is forever. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. So in the last, I, I want to discuss with you, uh, share with you, second history. And uh, verse chapter seven, brother for that uh, wonderful message uh, actually that that uh, message is so vast and there's so much to it I, I personally I'm requesting that you repeat that and do, dive in deeper even <laughs> as another message when you and when it, God lays it on your heart because it's really a, a very timely and a very important message um, right now my friends if you desire to come in to and dwell in the miraculous presence of Jesus our Lord and Savior if you desire to be in Christ and avail yourself of his marvelous wisdom, you must give your life to him. 
then you can make a decision to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. It's very simple and pain-free. Just repeat this prayer. Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner and surrender my life to you. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me and set me free for all eternity from all my sin. I believe that you rose from the dead and sit at the right hand of God the Father. Take over my life. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I renounce the devil and all sin. Lord, I receive from you the gift of righteousness, total forgiveness of all my sins, past, present, and future, divine health and wholeness and restoration, your protection, direction, your provision, your peace, and the gift of everlasting life. I'm yours. Come into my heart. Take over my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer with us, then you are born again, and welcome to the family of God. We're happy to have you. <laughs> Please contact us to let us know that you have accepted Christ. We want to follow up and send you vital information on your next steps in Christ Jesus. My brother, do you have any further announcements for today? Uh, yeah, dear sister. It is, <clears throat> I am so thankful uh, for this uh, blessed time. Because uh, we do not understand that what will happen tomorrow. That's right. And uh, this day that is given to us, this is very important. Mm -hmm. So therefore it is very important that we should spend this day for the cause of that, that mission mm -hmm. that, is, that is main cause of our life. So, so therefore it is my humble request that uh, uh, we should keep the message of Lord in our mind because uh, it is said that you are the, you are the home, uh, uh, home of Lord. But if conditionally it is said, if the spirit of Lord is, is with you. So therefore it is very important that our, our heart is a home of God. Amen. And God wants to live in our heart. But it is need that our heart should be purified in every way. So God either come in our heart and then uh, we shall be blessed in every way. Amen. So, so my uh, dear brother, my dear sister, uh, it is only Wherever we are, we should pray for each other because pray is the great power and power can change everything. Only, only power of pray can change. That's right. Nothing uh, our world can change but the pray that, that will be done through heart, uh, keeping Jesus with us, the, that will change uh, the thought the mind and the and and there will be uh, miracles in the name of Jesus and impossible will be possible. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. Um, now, if you would like to contact Elder Anyat or perhaps get aid to the Pakistani people through Elder Anyat Mashi's ministry, you can do so by sending your donations to him on our website, themasterstouch.org. That's themasterstouch.org or through Western Union. And uh, you can contact him directly uh, on his email, which is elderanyatmashi at gmail.com. That's E L D E R I N A Y A T. M A S I H at gmail dot com, um, and once again, you can also through our website on our webmail contact him at eldermashi at themasterstouch dot org. That's E L D E R M A S I H at themasterstouch dot org. Let me remind you that you can hear Elder Ainyat Mashi streaming live directly from Pakistan every Friday morning on, on our Pacific time at 7 a.m. and that's 7 p.m. in your Pakistani time zone, right here on Spreaker dot com. Now, we've archived all of his broadcasts on our website, themasterstouch.org, so you can find them there and go on to the navigation bar and look under In the Master's Hands. And when you click on that, it'll open that, that page up to you, and all of his uh, messages are there for you to listen to at your convenience. 
Um, I invite you all to tune in on Fridays to re receive a blessing and a message from Elder Ainyat Mashi right here on Spreaker.com. Everyone is welcome to join us. Remember, Proverbs 4, 7 tells us that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and in all you're getting, get understanding. And that's exactly what we're doing here, my friends, gaining God's wisdom. So be sure to keep Jesus Lord of your life. In the Master's Hands is a subsidiary of the Master's Touch Healing School of Ministry International. We are a 501c3 organization. To contact the Master's Touch Healing School of Ministry International, our website, themasterstouch.org, and our email, masterstouchhs at cox.net. That's masterstouchhs at cox.net. God bless you all, and we'll see you next Friday right here, same time, same station. God bless you. Mm -hmm.